Senator John McCain will no longer be seeking medical treatment. His family has just issued this statement. Last summer, Senator John McCain shared with Americans the news our family already knew. He had been diagnosed with an aggressive glioblastoma, and the prognosis was serious. In the years since, John has surpassed expectations for his survival. But the progress of disease and inexorable advance of age render their verdict. With his usual strength of will, he has now chosen to discontinue medical treatment. Our family is immensely grateful for the support and kindness of all his caregivers over the last year and for the continued continuing outpouring of concern and affection. I'm sorry, let me continue this. From John's many friends and associates and the many thousands of people who are keeping him in their prayers, God bless and thank you all. That statement just now released from John McCain and his family uh, that he will no longer be uh, seeking medical treatment. Um, obviously, Brett Baer, you're still with us right now, and we're already seeing that uh, responses coming in uh, from across the country from, from members of Congress. Yeah, an American hero uh, and someone who served his country not only uh, in the U.S. military, but up here on Capitol Hill for decades. Uh, you're going to see these statements coming out now uh, nonstop. Governor Doug Ducey uh, just releasing just that. John McCain is an American hero, always putting the country before self, from Vietnam to the halls of the U.S. Senate. The spirit and service of civility that has guided Senator McCain's life stands as a model for all Americans, regardless of political affiliation. Angela and I had the great privilege of visiting with Senator McCain and Cindy in May. Then and now our prayers and our hearts are with them and their entire family. That from the governor of Arizona. Uh, John McCain has been a staple here, uh, obviously in the middle of a lot of controversial votes. He has always uh, said that he was going to stand for what he believed. Uh, that did not sit well with this president, especially on the issue of Obamacare and that vote that he often references, the thumbs down in the middle of the night. Uh, but John McCain has a lot of friends on both sides of the aisle up here on Capitol Hill who are offering prayers and and uh, good wishes uh, as this news that he's going to no longer seek medical treatment. Uh, when that happens and that news comes out, as you well know, as we've seen with other uh, high-profile figures, uh, that usually means that, that uh, the time is moving fast. Yeah. He, he spent time in the Hanoi Hilton uh, prisoner of war in Vietnam. The North Vietnamese offered him release, early release or release ahead of uh, some of his other fellow prisoners because his father was an admiral. They thought they would get uh, some positive PR out of that. And Senator McCain, then I believe he was a captain, uh, McCain refused, said he didn't want to take advantage of his father's position and his father's name um, to, to win early release. He, he has lived the courage of his convictions. If you think of any other figure in American history and political life, who has spent his life serving the country. Uh, I, I don't think you can think of one uh, who has served in as many ways as John McCain, uh, and to the extent that he served. You mentioned his time in the Hanoi Hilton as a prisoner of war, and that experience he often reflected on as he was running for president and was the GOP nominee, and also as senator in some stiff, firm stances about uh, torture and, and what the, the guidance should be moving forward as, as, as we go through counterterrorism operations around the world. Uh, he is the biggest supporter up on Capitol Hill of the U.S. military. Anybody in the Pentagon will tell you they shuddered sometimes when they had to testify in front of uh, John McCain. He was always looking at, out after every dollar, uh, but he 100 percent was behind and is behind the men and women of the U.S. military. And you'll see these statements, I think, pouring out in the next few minutes. And as we all know, Megan, Mc Megan McCain was a former colleague of all of ours here at the Fox uh, News Channel. Uh, she has now also posted this statement from her family and issued her own statement. Brett, she writes, my family is deeply appreciative of all the love and generosity you have shown us during this past year. Thank you for all your continued support and prayers. We could not have made this, it this far without you. You've given us strength to carry on. Megan's made it very clear that she spent a lot of time um, heading home and, and, and being by her father's side through all of this. They're extremely close, Brett.
Yeah, and you well know, but being on the couch with her, yeah. outnumbered, um, how how much she revered her dad and and uh, and loved him and does. Uh, she took time away from from work to be with him, and um, and we know that uh, she spent a lot of time with him in Arizona. Yeah. And these times will be crucial as the family is making uh, and Senator McCain is making this decision uh, to stop medical treatment. Uh, I, I think you're going to see. Uh, this be an interesting point up on Capitol Hill as as senators especially who've worked with John McCain on both sides of the aisle uh, reflect on his final speech on the floor of the Senate where he talked about getting things done uh, going through the regular process of the Senate and you may see and hear some reflection in coming days about Sen Senator John McCain's uh, mandate as he, as he was kind of giving his last speech on the floor. John McCain, uh, the senator, will no longer be seeking medical treatment. His family just releasing that statement a few moments ago. Brett Bayer, thank you for joining us this morning. We'll have more on this coming up.